In this one, we're going to have a look at pagination. So first off, what is pagination and how can it help us? If you can imagine we had maybe thousands of records in our manufacturer's uh, table in the database, we wouldn't want to be returning thousands of manufacturer records all at once. We would want to sort of limit them and split them. And so pagination will work the same way in our API in the same way as it does on websites. So what I'll do is we'll go over to Amazon here Choose high definition for the best viewing experience and if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. And we have just products page, various uh, drum products and down at the bottom you'll see these bits here so if this is new to you then that is your pagination. We're basically taking our record set and splitting it down into separate pages. So here we have page one and I can click to go to the next page by clicking page two and I'll go all the way down the bottom and it gives you like handy little markers or handy little uh, links that you can click to either go to the previous one or go to the next one and sometimes you might see pagination where it says go to the first or go to the last and so uh, all sorts of different options and I'll show you some of those that we can use with the API platform as well. In my manufacturers table in the database I've added a few more records otherwise it wouldn't be a very good demonstration because we only had a small handful of records in there. So now I've got 20 records in there however at the moment I don't think that's going to be enough to demonstrate pagination because the default I believe is 30. One way to find out is you can actually say php bin console and then debug colon config. So whenever you want to uh, go and check your configuration for a particular aspect of your application in Symfony, you can say debug config and then you need to, uh, if I didn't provide it, any arguments here, it would get the whole config. However, we just want to look at API platform. So one clue on how to get that is if we come to config here and packages, the name is API underscore platform. So if I actually use that in my console API platform, then I should see only the config for my API platform settings. So let's have a look at this. Okay, and so here we go. So we'll scroll up and we're looking for pagination. Okay, so here we go, pagination, and that is under a key called collection. And then the items per page is here. Items per page equals 30. So even though I've got 20 records in the database, we won't be able to paginate at the moment because it's less than the actual items, the maximum items per page. So what we can do is, based on what we know about what keys we need to use, we can actually go and change our configuration in this file. So we'll have a look at that. And it was under collection and then pagination and then items per page. And we'll just set this to 10. Over in our little user interface, let's just go and try this out. So I'll click try it out. I'm on the uh, get route for API manufacturers. I'm just gonna hit execute. Okay, fairly quick, so it's come back with some records. Let's count these. So under Hydra member, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten records have come back, exactly what we expected there. So that's how to do it at a global config level. So we've overridden the default by actually updating that in our own uh, config file, our API platform YAML file. We can actually override this at a resource level by going and specifying uh, pagination in our resources. So let's go over to manufacturer and have a go at that. Find your API resource in the attributes and then here we need to say attributes and then this will be an array and the key is pagination items per page. So at a global level we've set it to 10. Let's actually set this to something less so that we know that that is being overridden. So I'm just setting mine to 5. I'm getting a squiggly line here because 
uh, PHP Storm's asking me, do I want to put my named arguments in an order? So I might as well click yes just to make it stop asking me. Now let's go and try this out again. So we should see only five records come back this time. So I'll hit execute. Okay, let's go and count these. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, perfect. So now we've overridden the global default and set it at a manufacturer level to only return us five manufacturer records. Let's go over to Postman and I'll show you some of the pagination keys that we have available to us, which we can use in our application to get the next page, previous page, stuff like that. So uh, our route is API forward slash manufacturers. So by default, this will just fetch page one. So if I hit send, and then if we go down, so I'll count these one, two, three, four, five. I bumped up the font as well a bit because I, I realized it was a bit small in the previous recording. So apologies for that. Hope this is a bit better. Okay, so we have our five records there. And then we're looking for a key called Hydra View. And under here, this is where you will find our um, pagination options. And so we have one called Hydra First. And so that is the key that you would look for in your application. So if you're writing uh, code in your application which um, was interacting with the API and you wanted to get the first page, then you're looking for a key called Hydra first. If you're looking to get the last page, then obviously you're looking for Hydra last. And if you're looking to get the next page, which in our case will be page two, you're looking for Hydra next. So let's actually be specific about the page we want. We'll start with page one. So. This will give us the exact same records back, which will be the first five records. Hit go, and so we get those first five records back. And then if I want to get uh, the next page, all I would do is instead of uh, using page one, my Hydra next value is just the same, except it's page two. So make a note of which IDs we have here. So we have ID one, which is Acme Core. That's currently our first record. Let's hit page two. Okay, and so you can see that our first record that we've got back here is ID number seven, uh, which is Toyota. And so, as you can see, we get five records back, but it is the next page. And if we want the last page, then it's telling us that the last page is page number four. So here we can just say page number four. Okay, and so this gives us uh, manufacturer number 17, 18, 19, 20, and that is it. One thing I spotted which I should point out is that if you're just returning application JSON, so if, when you pass this header, you're saying to the API platform, this is the format that I want the data back in. So if you say, I want the data to come back in application JSON format, so just plain JSON, you'll see that we only have the records here. We don't actually have any pagination data. So that's just one thing to look out for. Uh, perhaps there is a way where you can get the pagination data using JSON. That's something I'll look into. But for the time being, just be aware that you're not going to get it by default if you use if you request the application JSON format. And so that has been pagination. Like most other things in the API platform, all the hard work's been done for you, just a little bit of configuration, and you've actually got something which performs the queries under the hood and gives everything back to you in a nice format with keys where you can go and select previous, next, etc. All the pagination, typical pagination features that you would expect. Let's move on. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. Each week I release a number of new recordings. If you'd like to be informed about my upcoming videos as well as receive exclusive content, discounts and early access to my new videos, you can join my mailing list by following the link underneath this video.